to pay the remaining one within a period of time. Okay. But unfortunately, he didn't pay. He didn't pay. And so after, so after trying to reach him, the owner of the car, the seller tried to reach him many times and he didn't respond. The guy decided to call the police to report every time. And so he decided to go to God. He ran away. So there are so many stories about this possible Now, one major thing is this is trying to be Yeah. This is like this is no 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 so common that everybody now who is looking up to them and what they are trying to make them this fake lifestyle. Remember one time they came with this code, fake it to you. Fake it to you. So they can try to normalize fake life. And then, and then that's, that's on one side. side. Now, now the other one, one is the person is trying to do things and think they can get to the business. Yeah. Somebody gave you this, this car because they thought, thought okay, you were a proper people, because of this, you would want to, you would want to disappoint all the mother. But at the end of the day, yeah, you can have a point to look at them. This guy. Possible. I used to like him a lot, and I actually was one of his followers. Oh. But after some time, I said, yeah, How does he even make this funny? And um, it's so nice. And a few times when I commented on on his um, um, content, I, he, I don't know whether he was the one or whether other people are trying to uh, play pranks with um, his mm-hmm. page. And started calling me, asking me for many questions. I'll give you oh. this, I'll give you that. So I just stopped, and I, that's how I backed out from being his fellow. So I didn't actually hear this, and uh, I'm just hearing this now. But you know, in his own case, you know, when, when actually, when he started, he was really making it. Mm-hmm. And he's so known. He's all known. A lot of people love him, mm-hmm. have respect for him. If he had known, he would have bought the car then because money was still flowing. But considering the situation in Nigeria, mm-hmm. and now got the car towards the end of whatever, and he now said, okay, I have tried. Let me look at something for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the end, he didn't get it back. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, it didn't come mm-hmm. the way he was expecting it. Okay. You know, I'm just looking at it from that yeah. point of view. He, he now anticipated, oh, sure, just let me have it. It's time for me to drive a very beautiful mm-hmm. car, a wonderful car. Actually, I'm now it. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, when all he was expecting did not come, mm-hmm. and he's not fucked up. Mm-hmm. And then he's ready. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Stranded. So I'm thinking, was he actually trying to live a fit life by that action, or was he thinking, okay, I've done enough. Um, let me try and please myself. And unfortunately, he went too far. Mm. You know, looking for too much. Not knowing, actually knowing, the feeling 
The current situation in our country today, things have changed. Mm -hmm. The money wasn't coming as you expected. Mm -hmm. And probably it must have been a shock to him, I'm just thinking. Mm -hmm. It must have been a shock to him, and uh, now the shameful thing is that he's going, looking for a way to hide his face. You know, which is, um, you know, possible is somebody, no matter how much he has made or how much he has climbed the ladder of fame, mm -hmm. he has not changed his lifestyle. Okay. He's still behaving, you know, so he can take the man out of the table. He can take the man out of the table. That's a proper definition of possible. He has not shown any class. He doesn't care about class. So, so, you know, when he does this, this thing, probably he does not with the mindset that anyhow, anyhow, will work it out. You don't know that mindset. You know, that's almost uh, somebody tweeted and said, it is, uh, possible, possible, is possible, 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 possible is the perfect definition of money can't buy you class or recompense. No matter how much money you get, the strangest mindset and behavior will always come to the top. Obviously, for someone, and 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 let's just take this for instance, and another celebrity who has come this far, like possible, possible. Mm. who wants want to maintain some level of class. class. Okay. You know, even, even if you buy things, things of which you know they do, mm. there's mm. a lot of them who buy this, do this kind of thing. Yeah, and they take bit by bit. It's not a new thing. It's not a common with everybody. Alright? So, but the point is this. When, when people came for their money, you have to sign an agreement. You pay. You pay. Mm -hmm. Now, when you, you didn't do this, mm. you were supposed to follow this to his water line. So, if you know that you are all, voice notes and everything, because this person has a sick. Okay, what is it? Exactly, that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. That mindset of yeah. people because I'm a celebrity. Yeah, so. Or, you know, yeah. Roger Dan. Yeah, anyhow. Yeah, anyhow. Yeah. You know, so that is a typical. Um, uh, behavior of okay. the get the so far. So, no matter how much famous Potable has come, I'm not sure he's pretending that I'm not sure he's trying to get the So, no, no, that's the problem. Even with the little million you paid down, people are not going to to get yourself a new car. Instead of going on and getting a new car. So, that's the thing that I want to try to do that. Mm -hmm. Just wants to be there. Yeah. So being there for him, not really the class matter. It just make noise and let people actually say, oh yeah, yeah. Actually, he has really, 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 really arrived. You know, there are a lot of people aside from him mm -hmm. are living this kind of fake life, trying to be what you're not, mm -hmm. and trying to say what you are, what you are not. Mm -hmm. You know, see, they can people see you the way uh, they, they should think about you, know who you really are. Exactly. You I know? mean, when he got this car, he came online and told oh. everybody he bought for sixty, 60 million. million. You know, he lied about the car. Sixteen million. He just made a down payment of fifteen million. Okay. And the car was only twenty-seven million. He told his father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know he's going to get a car quickly, wrongly. He was planning to get a car. He was doing it the wrong way. So sad. So you know, people trying to live a bubble. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Because I believe that that's what money takes down. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about shame. Did he, do you think he must have suspected he could get into this mess? Of course. We have we have a whole lot of stories of people claiming they've done business with possible and he doesn't come through. No, we, that's it. We know him for that one. Really? Yeah, so I, I don't want, I don't know how you guys follow him. I've never been a fan of possible seriously. No, I used to. Because I don't really, then I just cut off. Even his music, I don't understand. So I don't know how people tend to love him this much. So much. But the point is, he didn't try to do it. He didn't 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 do it. Probably he knows he has a lot of fans and so they could help him out. Yeah. That's why he's running away. <laughs> running <laughs> jumping over the face. I don't have that <laughs> vision. You <laughs> see him jump very professional which means he's good at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Probably if he was not a musician, he could have, you know. <laughs> not from me, you would. 
In a world of overwhelming voices where everyone has different opinion on different issues, it is important that we bring the core issue to the fore. Join me, Nancy Bonigo, on Softline as we lend our voices to inform and influence your thoughts and actions. This is not just mere talk, it is an educative program that touches the core of our existence. ADBN Advocate Broadcasting Network ADBN Smartphone Film Workshop Are you a young adult with a passion for storytelling and content creation? Do you reside in the Ninja Delta and desire to become a filmmaker or content creator? Then you should register for the ADBN Smartphone Film Workshop an exciting opportunity brought to you by ADBN TV Embark on a journey to unlock your creative potential by learning the art of filmmaking, sound design, and lighting using your smartphone. This is your chance to turn your ideas into reality. So hurry now and register via website at www.adbntv.com. But wait, that's not all. Your creations will be aired on ADBN TV, channel 258, on DSTV, 140 on Star Times, Avo TV app, Limex World TV app, and Ninja TV app, reaching audiences far and wide. And guess what? Three lucky winners will be selected for the grand cash prize of 5 million naira. Meet our facilitators. now at www.adbntv.com and take the first step towards a future in filmmaking and content creation. ADBN Smartphone Film Workshop. Unleash your creativity. No matter what I see, not it make mouth heavy to talk about. That's now why people will be talk. People they talk is show on Monday to Friday by 5 p.m. on top ADBN TV. In a world of overwhelming voices where everyone has different opinion on different issues, it is important that we bring the core issue to the fore. Join me, Nancy Bonigo, on Softline as we lend our voices to inform and influence your thoughts and actions. This is not just mere talk, it is an educative program that touches the core of our existence. ADBN Advocate Broadcasting Network. Because whenever they start going back to school, I like Keep, keep yeah. Yeah. Actually, when um, actually we're going up in the primary school, 
you know, they come back on holidays. After the holidays, the school begins to begin to wash clothes, prepare uniforms, put things in place, socks, panties, and all of that. How is the standard is okay? Then the standard was actually raining, not uh, yeah, what the uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. rubber standard was. The rubber standard was, rubber standard was mm-hmm. actually raining then. So it's going to protect the child from um, rain, so rain, so that the shoes will not get dry quickly and all of that. So that's the concept we had at back of my mind. So when you're preparing them to go back to school, you know, sometimes you say, oh, you've been home, you've eaten a lot. Uh, based on the coming back from school every day, they think to pick up school. Now you're home, you need to be to society, clean the system, make sure when it is a week, sometimes when you have the three weeks holiday, sometimes you have two weeks holiday. Uh, it's okay. Let us manage you will be fine. Maybe in the next uh, one month or so. When you say clean, detoxify, yeah. how do you do that? That is what you're saying. Okay. No. Okay. Clean to give them mm-hmm. something to make them you know, like a purgative or your anima to clean their system. Okay. Yeah, to prepare them, they'll be fresh again. So yeah. Whatever they're taking, they'll be healthy. Yeah, okay. It's not going to mix up with whatever they've been eating on the, school, the way to school or back from school okay. and, and all of that. So that's what we used to do. We say, the talk to which is all the words I'm using now, who used to do an email. And then, yeah, I didn't really like any, I just give them plenty of water in the morning, warm water in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Give them a lot of warm water in the morning, and the stomach will be so full, and they'll be saying, oh, man. Yeah. But that's how they will start <laughs> schooling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it cleans it. And then, yeah, and they stay at home during the holidays, you give them something that you want them to be happy. Then start school once it starts. Okay, you won't be giving your sort of uh, lunchbox to, to school. So you begin to be careful, you keep mm-hmm. them to make sure they are fine, you know. Right. When they get got to the secondary school, or oh, if I told you my children were all brothers, mm-hmm. so that was way they uh, it was a bit uh, challenging because when they come in back from school, two, three weeks, you prepare them, you treat them for malaria depending on how long they have stayed and now they're going back. You do the same thing, you put the uniform, put everything in place, they use the pack back, they use the pack back. You know, I'm not just saying, you know, I'm not sure why you're not listening to Dr. Joyce and I know you have a little bit of all this that you've said. Yeah, that's what we used to do. You know, and then there were no phones, so, so we didn't use to have any limits of communication. So you just try your best for your kid, send them back to school, you pack things, say, oh, pass it on, that's what you really need. If you have an headache, Take first time. Take first time. Unless you're ready to get to two days. Or just get to two days. That's what not just to be immediately. Mm-hmm. Just to maybe you're hungry after you had a headache and all of that. You turn them at home so they begin to know how to take care of themselves. Okay. So, but, but, yeah. but I'm glad your two children didn't have to use this method. Because sometimes you need to keep Back to school time is the time that you usually want to rest. Especially those of us who have children in the morning and have some school classes. They feel that um, there's so much they need to do within a few days before taking the child back to school to maintain the child's health. But the truth of the matter is that the things you need to do to maintain your child's health while at school, you should have started them even prior to back to school time. So, Holiday time is actually the time to prepare for the health of the child, not necessarily when it's time to go to school. And you want to look into the child's health. First thing you want to do is maybe to take the child for wellness check. And we have that in hospitals. It's not only sick children that should go to hospitals. You can take a child for a wellness check when they will assess the child's weight, assess the child's health status, take a look at the child and be sure that that child's health is up to them. So that way you will know is your child fine, is your child with a deficit, we have work to do during this holiday time to make it up. I think that's the first step to back child back to school work for a child. The first step is what you do immediately the child has come back from school at the initial time. Then of course if you have a child who has an illness that needs follow-up education, the child should also see the specialists like those of us whose children may have maybe asthma or uh, sickle cell disease, 
that time is a time to okay, take the child to the hospital, let her specialist look at her on him and know how far back or how much progress has been made in the disease. Hospital aside, prevention is better than care. And the prevention of illnesses in school age children starts in the home. And it starts with hygiene. So I always tell mothers, back to school, have you opened the water bottle that that child carried to school for a whole term? If you take your time, first I have children and this holiday, I just crashed that water bottle because I didn't start to wash it. If you take your time to look into that water bottle, you will see wonders. So that's the first thing to do. Look at the water bottle, look at the spoon, look at the flasks that they've been taking to school and what is the status of all those things. What those of them who are brothers check their clothing, some of them may come home with lice, some of them may come home with scabies, some of them may come home with all those illnesses that you have to look through. So you have to do a thorough hygiene check on those children, especially when you are taking them home from school. Then, the next thing you want to talk about is prevention, because hygiene goes hand in hand with nutrition. What are they eating while at home? There's no multivite that will prevent success in a child. Neither are children supposed to be able to eat multivite. What that child needs is adequate nutrition. And because school time is the time when children are very busy and if you as a parent, it is not directly involved. Holiday time is a time to look into the nutrition of the child and try to improve it. When children are on holiday, they can eat. And any parent will tell you that holiday time, every two to ask, the child wants to eat. That's it. Even the child who has a poor appetite will eat a lot during holiday time. But the question is, during that holiday time, are you making those healthy options available? So parents will say, oh, the children are coming back from holiday. You see them in the market. Because the children are coming back from holiday, they are both cattle of biscuits. They are both roll of juice. I tell you, the children are coming back from holiday. But now you have these kids on holiday who are willing to eat every two minutes. You have an opportunity to make the healthy meals available for them so that they can eat those things and boost their immunity. You make fruits available, you make juice available, you make eggs available. You, make, you cook meals that are wholesome for them at that time so that they can rejuvenate and replace all that they have lost. And they're also resting at that time. They're not so involved in school activities. So their whole body is building back. And that is actually the back to school preparation that is more important. They're moving up and down, trying to get the education for children that are about to go back to school. So I think for me, back to school, first of all, is prevention. And prevention starts from the home. And prevention starts with hygiene. And from hygiene, then you move into nutrition. When you have sorted these two ends out, then you can start looking into the other small, small matters that you may have to attend to before you take the child back. Children should have more medications at any time, especially children who are less than five. The reason is because these worms are in the soil and they play a lot, they pick things from the floor. Then, of course, if you know that like, a woman who sources food from outside food that may not be thoroughly cooked. And your children are also at risk of worm infestation. So the worm in a child is it. The problem is how often do you do worm a child? Everything is not related to worm. So the worm in a child twice a year is sufficient. So you don't need to do worm a child every three months. Neither do you need to do worm a child every time the child is sick. Twice a year, once in six months, it's okay to prevent worm infestation in that child. Especially most of our children are not really, really at risk. I tell girls in the really rural areas or who are eating street food. So twice a year is sufficient. But then you ask yourself, okay, if there's no benefit, is there harm? What's the big deal? There is harm. Harm because one, the rectum has a lot of blood vessels on them. So when you swallow a tablet, for example, it may take up to an hour or two hours for the effect. It's kind of like you take paracetamol or rather, it will take up to 45 minutes to an hour before the headache goes away. 
But if you push it through the red tape, the action is really good because of the blood vessels. So what will push helps into the problem of children? What we're actually doing is that we're taking those things straight into the blood vessels. And sometimes we do an MMA with the problem. We do an with leaves that we don't know the name. I've treated children, not one, not two, not three. Whose kid is shut down following MMA? So MMA is actually dangerous for children. That's why the fact that we pride ourselves in the history that our parents did it and everybody has been doing it. If you talk to any doctor, they will show you one, two, three, four, five, six children who were hurt because of MMA. And even if you say you want to use only water, the pressure of pushing that water in. It still has an effect on the gut. For some people, it has led to gut perforation. So let's just leave any man alone. If you feel a child is constipated, increase food, increase water. Do it the normal way. The child will pass food. Vary the diet. If you feel a child's abdomen is swollen, maybe the child will have a big stomach. The whole abdomen may also be big. Maybe familiar. Leave the stomach alone. If you feel a child is sick, take to the hospital. For any man, now, what happens in health is this. When something goes right, everybody says, oh, I did it, and this is what happened. When it goes wrong, they never talk. Every time I see a woman in the hospital because of LMA, I ask them, have you told anybody that your husband will be there that this thing happened? And the answer is usually no, because they just fuck their shit and bury their body with them. So the reports don't come out. People are actually not aware of the dangers. Now, leaves are around. Herbs, well, nature is good. The closer to the farm, the better for you. But the question is what's the dose? What's the preparation? What's the processing? That's where these things become dangerous. And then the full cost. So, women cannot cut water leaf and open vegetables into jello rice. Or they can pump it through the stomach. Why don't you divert that energy into cutting vegetable, small, small, into that food that you're cooking for that child? The benefits are still there. The benefits are not there only when it's pushed through the end of it. The benefit is there. So you cut it in bits. You give it to the child to eat. If you have a child that picks up vegetables, then the smaller the vegetable is in the food, the harder it will be for them to pick up. And even they eat it, they can't even see it. You can blend carrots and cook the love rice, the child will run up and there's carrots inside it. Shift your focus and your energy into the upper point way. Instead of trying to insist that, oh, our forefathers used for Dalin and they got better. You don't know how it has been there. You don't know the details of what killed them there. And you have this information now. We are educated on moving forward. So we should move forward. This particular issue of the area. Though it's really not in the course of back to school, but diarrhea is important, so we can talk about it. Diarrhea in children means that the child is losing water. When you pump a child who is having diarrhea, that child will actually have more diarrhea and will lose more water. When the child loses water, it's the loss of the water that makes the child sick. Not necessarily the number of child schools the child has passed. We are concerned about the number of stools, because that gives us an idea of how much water is being lost. But it is the loss of body water that makes children passing water to weak. So your focus should be replacing that water, which is what we do with ORS, or sugar salt solution. And that should be the focus of any child having water to not trying to do anything. Give ORS, sugar salt solution, give water, give other fluids. Not carbonated drinks, but other things that the child will have to do. So, really, it's not about finances as you may think, as it's about the fact that most Nigerian parents don't want to inconvenience themselves when it comes to the health of the child. Because they take children to chemists, mm -hmm. they take them to chemists, and they spend money on what is unnecessary, and they say, Oh, it's because I got him back from school, I want to treat him for malaria, typhoid, uh, warm. And, and then they spend the money there. But there's this bias against hospitals. So people don't want to sit in line, they don't want to wait, they don't want to talk to each other, they don't want to move up and down, which is associated with many of our public hospitals. So, really, what the truth of the matter is that they don't want to take out time to do what is required to get the right thing. But that aside, hospital aside, you can start with this other 
adjustments that we are talking about when you bring a child back to school. The way you now want to take the child back to school, because you don't know the year period, you have observed the child, you have treated whatever illness the child came back from school with, and you have fed the child well. Okay, it's a few days to school. What do I do? First thing you should do is to find out, for those of us who have children in boarding school, you should also find out, okay, this school that this child is going to, has it been cleaned? Has it been arranged? So that side is on the part of the school. What are the things the school is putting up now to welcome children back to school? Because there's something called a healthy school environment. The environment has to be set in such a way that the children can come back to the school and be safe. So, I'm talking of cutting the grass, I'm talking of fumigating the schools. Some schools have bed bugs, some schools have rat problems, and that period should be used to fumigate the schools. Some schools have uh, snakes and all of that. So you prepare the classrooms and you prepare the hostel for the child to be returned. She also asked herself, okay, what health facilities are in the school that I'm putting my child in? Because this child is supposed to be in a school that has at least ability to things that can cater to their health in case of emergency. So do they have a school clinic? Do they have a registered nurse in the school clinic? Do they have a doctor or access to one if need arises? Do they have emergency medication at the staff training? So those are the things that parents should also think about when they are saying, okay, I'm taking this child back to school. Then comes to you as a parent, what do you need to do for your child? The first thing you need to do for your child is to imbibe these good habits into the child. So some parents don't know that their children don't brush their teeth once they leave them out of school. And that's what makes it sit at school. So if your child should be able to be responsible for their personal hygiene. They should know, even as small as they are, that they should wash their hands before they eat, even while they are in school. They should know that they should keep their things clean and their property clean. They should know that, oh, if somebody is sick, they shouldn't touch sick people. They shouldn't mix too much with sick people. They should know. Any child who is at least seven years at school should know these things and be able to practice these healthy habits to help to maintain their health at school. The truth of the matter is that once children go back to school, they tend to fall sick for many reasons, especially the younger ones. I always say that anywhere small, small, small children are there, that cough and cracker is inside them. Because they will hug each other, they will suck each other's nose, they will clean tears from each other's eyes. Chances are high that they will transmit to each other. But it can be reduced with if your child at least is old enough and knowledgeable enough to know these things and to practice these things. The issue of multivite and immune boosters, and must talk about it because that's what parents want to say. Give me multivite to take this child back so the child will not be sick. And I always ask those parents, as you took the multi-site, anti-malaria and typhoid, say the truth, in three, four weeks time, they called you to come and say carry that child. That child still fell sick. So some children need some children need multi-site for specific issues, specific period of time, prescribed by the doctor. But no child needs to take multi every day. Unless that child has a chronic medical condition. So let's disabuse our minds from multivite and invest in some of them are so expensive. Very spend a lot on them. Those things are not going to really have a significant effect on the health of the child. Rather, that child taking small, small responsibility for his own health will be better. Another thing the child should go home with is a mosquito net. Because malaria is endemic in our environment. And when you go back to school, there's a lot of living in the open, standing in line for food, fetching water, and doing prep. They are moving up and down in the night. So it's beneficial if they sleep inside a mosquito treatment net and they know how to protect themselves from insect bites. That will also be another step to prevent. Then a child should be able to know that they are sick and should be able to report that sickness. That's personally that what I teach. The words as I have when I'm talking at the school, I say, pay attention to your body. If you notice something, send a message. Because usually, why the children come home so sick is that the initial point of the sickness, the child is not reporting the sickness until maybe day three, day four, day five, their classmate or hostel starts to say, oh, what's happening? And then they say they are so sick. 
So then let them know how to report to the health okay. on time so that they can also process the data. But every drug has a drug. Every drug has a side effect. Every drug has, yes, every drug has a overdose also. So like I said, including vitamin C, nothing should be taken forever. Because those are high doses. We have these things naturally occurring in our food. Vitamin C is in oranges, is in grapefruit, is in so many local things. Even Uda is a very wonderful source of vitamin C and can help a child. So let's move away from medicine. I'm a doctor. So yes, medicine is good. But the truth of the matter is that even the person that produces the medicine will tell you that it's better if you can move away from medicine a bit and focus on preventing the death. When we have a lot of fear and worry about sickness when a child is returning to school, we rub it up the children and they are likely to become sick. So do away with fear, do away with worry. And the only way to do away with fear and worry is to be prepared, to be proactive. Do the things that you need to do to maintain the health of your child and do it on time. Then, of course, I've talked about having a system that works. So have a system, even if the child is in boarding school, that makes you know the health status of the child and allows you to do what needs to be done if you need to affect the health of the child. If you begin to affect the health of the child. I think with that, you know, in a world of overwhelming voices where everyone has different opinion on different issues, it is important that we bring the core issue to the fore. Join me, Nancy Banigo, on Softline as we lend our voices to inform and influence your thoughts and actions. This is not just mere talk, it is an invocative program that touches the core of our existence. ADBN Advocate Broadcasting Network. All right, thank you for being there. I hope you met all of you. That was our first time in the education. Funny enough, you know, I know I allowed you to say your you know. Remember, she talked about the cinema and the drug. Yeah. Because I know so many parents are also in that position. Yeah. 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 With those little yeah. children yeah. 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 Okay, but let's talk about a yeah. healthy yeah. school environment. Since yeah. you're also in a school environment, okay. I would like to know during the holidays and when the children are back and come back, around to come back to school, what are those things the school does, you know, to keep the environment kind of you know healthy for the children? So that when they return, they can be in a safe environment. Yeah. You know, I am um, in a government school. Okay. You know, state schools differ differently from the private private schools. schools. Yeah. And mostly state schools are day schools. Day schools. Okay. Yeah. Not many um, government schools are operating uh, boarding, boarding houses. So, like the school where I am, most of the states I have been, um, one or two boarding schools I have actually been, when the children are actually uh, coming back, um, the house mistresses, the boarding, uh, that's the mistresses that we'll be talking about, the tests in the dormitory, things and like that, so the person should approve money to buy pest control, so that when the children come back, we'll do a lot of preparations on that for the boarding students. And in most of the schools that are actually day schools, not much preparation in that area of health is done. Mm. Yeah, because it's really go from home directly. Mm. So not much is done. The only thing that is done to keep the environment a bit um, um, clean and safe is probably when they come back and there are lots of grasses. Okay. The grasses are all grown and all of that. Okay. So, what well, most of the grasses in some of the areas of the school premises are too large, too big mm -hmm. for the children. Do uh, the school will now employ, or if they have more, they can use more to help the children assist them, thinking that they might not be able to get into um, congested areas mm -hmm. and push the sickness of the push to work on it. So the okay. clear environment, if it's, I mean, if you enter the school environment in, in the state school, you see 
Mm. But uh, it's neat, you know, it's airy. Mm. That's what I like about most of the state schools. Yeah. Very, very airy. Yeah. Uh, when you have the working dog, it's a bit higher. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that you don't uh, uh, affect the students. So when they come back, they clean up their classes, clean up the, so the students themselves, do the yeah. cleaning when they are back. Clean up their classes, <laughs> because they, they have a roster. Those that are sleeping every day, those that are sleeping in the afternoon when you go. Sometimes those that are supposed to sleep in the morning, they sleep before they go so that they don't come and be hurrying in the morning. They arrange themselves. Mm. I like that, uh, I li- actually like that because it makes the child to be a bit responsible. Mm. You know, so they clean their classes, put everything. If it's very dusty, like during the Hamilton period, and by the time you go, you know, you see all the children trying to wash their classes, clean up their lockers. Nobody will do it for them because they go to school. Wow. Yeah, yeah nobody will do it for them. Yeah. It's not possible for the whole of the world itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are mm-hmm. 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 So we begin to move the money to pay people to come and do the cleaning. It's not actually done by the jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have been very busy. Yes. Yeah. 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 So the students come to clean the compound, okay, it's okay, clean the classroom for the teachers. Okay. So in the, in, in the public school, teacher-student relationship is stronger because they are the ones serving the teachers while we are teaching them. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yes, that is to the inside work, you know, to make okay. people, uh, uh, that they make the environment, the learning, teaching learning environment to be okay for both okay. the teacher and, and the student. Now, after they know that, do they still attend class to learn? Of course not. It's just the cleaning of the day of resumption. It's only done on the day of resumption. And the cleaning of is done on the day of resumption. It's not done after that. So, after the day of resumption, that's just the day of resumption. After the day of resumption, then the class is starts. Okay. Now, what do they have? Like, sick day? Schools. Actually, okay. the sick day, just some of the bigger schools. You know, there are some smaller schools, there are some bigger schools. Even in primary, in primary school, they have some bigger schools. They also have some uh, minor primary schools. They have sick day. You know, the child is very sick. Probably the fever is high. You think the child is sick day, they can uh, sponge the child with cold water okay. to bring down the temperature. And, oh, who knows this child? So anyway, we can get to the parents. Oh, somebody, I say, yes. I know we are neighbors. Okay. Can you take him home or can you take her home? Um, some schools don't actually, you know, we used to give uh, first aid, you know, maybe on paracetamol or something. But sometimes some of the children will act and uh, there was a case over here. I can't really say that there was a problem and the parents were angry. What did you do, my child? And the thing did I ask you to? Blah, 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 blah. So we actually asked to stop. Don't give anybody's child anything. If the child is actually sick, you can't handle it, try and send the child home. Mm. Yeah. So in, in, in six schools, I think it's a couple schools. So when you have sick day, the child is actually probably some children will come in with things. Why are you find out? Did you eat this morning? No, I'm not eating it. You know, the child didn't eat anything. And uh, probably couldn't stand and just things. it. So the child, teachers will say, okay, on a flight, bread, biscuits, and the child will start up. So actually, it's just big food. So this is the kind of things we try to manage with the children in school. Mm. Yeah, because the child is actually like having a fever or like a static attack. Uh, we tried to talk about the other day. What do we do? <laughs> what the, oh, she left her in yellow at home. So what do we do? Who knows where she's staying? Okay, the internet, what do we do? Sometimes to use onions, to use garlic. Mm. And the child is resuscitated and gets up and go home. Wow. So that's like in the public schools. Mm. You know, in the mm. public schools. Mm-hmm. So government cannot actually do everything. So in the public schools, parents should have a greater hand in when they're taking care of their work. Because they send them to us just for the day, a few hours, and they're gone. Mm. So, but in boarding schools, I think we do more. Oh, well, not, not even in boarding school now. Even in day mm-hmm. school, but private. Okay. okay. I think it's almost the same. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if it's a very severe case, they say, okay, who has a child? I know the child. Okay, now, somebody has a car, which teacher, who, which teacher has a car, they all have two us, take the child to the hospital. But that place is done. Okay. So the child has to be linked up with the parent, the person that knows the child, link up with the parent that he or she is in this hospital. Mm. You know. Mm. Okay, now, GSA is working, so everything mm. is simpler. You just make a call. But taking a child to start to say, please come around. Sincerely, mm -hmm. I never used to, even for myself, I never used to until I became. Okay, yeah. So, vitamin C was something we always had at home in our first aid box. But the is there, but uh, uh, again is there, in case the child has a running stomach. Mm -hmm. I mean, at home. Mm -hmm. But I did not make them get used to it. That's for myself. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But these days, I know parents actually have the vitamins. Mm -hmm. Especially vitamin A as well, C, mm -hmm. A and C, they have it. So for eyesight and for all of that, they try to start protecting the child, the children at home. But sometimes she actually, the doctor did this talking like a doctor, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I'm going to do some doctor, let me put it that way. <laughs> um, they encourage people to have vitamins in our time. Take a lot of vitamins, it will boost. Even in real mothers when we are pregnant, if you take a lot of vitamins, mm -hmm. uh, your child will have straight legs, mm -hmm. and the child will have a good mm -hmm. dentist, and the child is coming up with a uh, big attitude. Take, you know, so we need to take all of that. Mm -hmm. We've gotten used to taking those things. Yes, you know. So we got used to taking those things. Having vitamin C, I didn't know that that could be something mm -hmm. that somebody could say is not proper because vitamin C is not helpful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just to be justified. It doesn't allow. Yeah, yeah, we boost the immunity and it fights off radicals. Those mm. free radicals, we fight them off. So your child will not be able to fall sick at every okay, But then uh, I understand this level, the, the, this, what the doctor is saying. To be on the oh, safe side, uh, instead of giving your child these vitamins that like you don't even know the dose mm -hmm. you're supposed to, and you could be simply give over the dose. Why should they give over the dose? Well, well, I don't know if the child does the so to go to the same side, you just have to go for the fruits that contains this vitamin because you know you no matter how much you don't like that you don't like that. And then she said something to you that the parents use the the money type and the money excuses and all that. But those things are quite affordable. She mentioned the bar, the staff, the everywhere. You know, the money you get. Yeah, but if you direct access to the food, you have all of these tools. You all have the tools to have these vitamins. And then look at the sense that all of these vitamins we buy from the vitamins. I have always heard from a doctor that vitamin C does not actually really has a negative effect, effect, effect on, a on a child or even an adult. The only effect when I have seen that vitamin C does wrong is when you take it with a little treatment. This is a, mm, okay. a kind of reaction. Okay. So you don't. You take it after you might have finished treating yourself with malaria. Not take it hand in hand with it. Okay. You understand? So, the vitamin C, like, when you give a child maybe three tablets, it's a waste. That's what I'm hearing, even from nurses. Mm. Because just one is enough. 
The way you give them the courses, let's say it's a waste. The other, the dot, the other ones do not have anything to do. They are wasted. Mm. So it's just because to maintain, especially for vitamin C. Let's maintain one. You know, mm-hmm. if it's one three times a day, okay. Well, if it's okay. one once a day, it's okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But sometimes to keep to this routine is mm-hmm. uh, difficult. So, so what is that like? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, because I know the beauty of this. Okay. Sometimes when I buy these vitamins, buy them, so those so switch ones. Okay, okay, okay. I keep them. I probably give my young child to take them. The good part is I know. And I also take them like, you know, I don't have any effect. I don't see any that's why I take them. And then this is where I use comes in. Because we need to take them, we enjoy them. So just because we enjoy them, we keep taking them. So to avoid this abuse, you know, you have to caution on these things. So you just stay away from them and grow more on fruits. You know, she was talking about how sliding this vegetable yeah, 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 I never did. I used to avoid, you know, like I said, I say I give them a lot of water, mm-hmm. warm water. And then um, that helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doing the animal thing, you know, a lot of people like doing this like every day, every other day. You know, and I know the consequence because I heard from a doctor that sometimes the power that develops, the power that develops in mm-hmm. future is due to animal. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's the issue. Yeah, and that's what you All right. Yeah. We have to go. It has been an interesting one. Wow. We have experience now. I understand that. Wow. I hope more than two parents and grandparents will be able to learn more from children, especially those that enjoy doing this event. Yeah. So many people have been doing this. Yeah. So many people have been doing this. So, viewers, I hope you heard. This is going to help us a lot, something we never knew, never thought about. I think it's going to do more good than harm to our system. Thank you for being there. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. From me and Twinkie ADBN Advocate Broadcast